Welcome to Weather Whirlwind. Hello friends, my name is Sunny Day and welcome to the show. Today we're going to learn about tornadoes. Let's go! Okay, let's get into the basics. What is a tornado? Well, to put it in meteorological terms, a tornado is a mobile and destructive vortex of violently rotating winds that appears to be funnel-shaped and moves beneath a large storm system. But to put it in more basic terms, a tornado is a funnel of air that comes from a large thunderstorm cloud. And it's really, really fast. Ooh. Okay, okay. So now that we know the basics, we have to find out how a tornado is actually made. So, in order for a tornado to be made, three important things must happen. First, we need warm, moist air that comes from cl closer to the ground and rises. Then, we need cold, dry air that comes from higher up, down closer to the ground. And, we need wind shear. Wind shear is probably the most important thing, as it actually encourages the funnel to form and to start spinning. These ingredients all help to make a supercell. Supercells are a special type of thunderstorm that have circulation in the middle of the cloud. This circulation helps to form a tornado because of the combination of the downdraft, otherwise known as wind blowing downward. The spinning of the supercell creates the base of the tornado, which is also known as a wall cloud. As the spinning continues and increases, the wall cloud actually begins to get smaller and move closer to the ground. This is because of the downdraft, and it makes the funnel cloud. Once the funnel cloud reaches the ground, it can finally be considered a tornado. Now that we have concluded on how tornadoes are made, let's go into our last and most important topic, safety during tornadoes. Safety during tornadoes is different based on where you are. So for instance, let's say that you're at your house and a tornado warning comes up. Well, the first thing that you want to do is get down to your basement and shelter there. Now, it's okay if you don't have a basement, but get to the lowest level of your house and find a room closer to the middle of the house that has no windows and shelter there. When at school, however, the best possible thing that you can do for the safety of yourself and the safety of others is listen to the school staff members. All they care about is your safety, so just stay calm and listen to them and just follow their directions. Now that we've talked about school safety and home safety, let's talk about outside. If you ever find yourself outside or in a car during a tornado, the first thing that you want to do is get out and find shelter. You don't want anything unstable or flimsy like a barn or a shed. What you do want, however, is a strong, stable building. Now, if you can't find shelter, what you want to do is go find a ditch, lay down, and cover your head. You don't want to stay in a car because the tornado is strong enough to push it around and even pick it up. We have one final thing before we end the show, and that is that all of you watching this, stay safe, keep being the best you that you can be, and have a great day. This is Sunny Day signing off. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Weather Whirlwind. This was a production from the CEC Network. Thanks for watching.